Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist here, and today's topic of conversation for the video is the very important question of how do I know when something is not working and I should just no longer use it? And this is a very interesting question because this, I, when I speak to customers, I often explain to them, this goes back to the video I did entitled, What Are We Supposed to Feel? Most often, people, as I've stated this several times already, most people don't know what they're supposed to feel, so they're under the impression that what they're doing is not working, and that's not always the case. Um, I think it's real important to understand that everything works. When you talk about herbs and superfoods, or even pharmaceuticals, everything works. But whether it works to your expectations is something completely different because no matter what you do if you take or do something it is going to ultimately no matter how big or small it is it is ultimately going to have an effect on the end result therefore if it has an effect on the end result it does work and it is doing something um, I, I often feel that in many cases when people evaluate if something works or it doesn't work, they have these predetermined expectations for something that does or doesn't work. And that's often why people make these quick judgments of saying, oh, well, this just didn't work or that just didn't work. And it really wasn't the fact that this or that didn't work. It was more about the fact that they, they didn't understand what they were supposed to feel. So while this topic may seem very general, this is an important concept to really get, get sort of wrap your brain around because if you don't, you're going to constantly fail at what you're attempting to do when it comes to your health and well-being. When you're talking about herbs and superfoods, uh, specifically adaptogens and tonics, you're looking at a more of a cumulative effect. Okay, and as I've spoken about many times, the thing that needs to be kept in mind is time and consistency are the two greatest factors when you're dealing with what you want to see as results. So the next time that you start using herbs and superfoods, or if you're a first timer at using herbs and superfoods, specifically adaptogens and tonics, you might want to keep the fact in mind that time and consistency are the two greatest factors. And based on that, you need to evaluate your, your results based on whether or not you gave it enough time and how consistent you are with it. I hope this information helps, guys, and I'll see you next time.